All right, so this is a an exp expandable type rod that I got from AliExpress. It's 4.5 meters. I think that's like 14 and a half feet. I took one section out because it's really thin. Um, there's enough room up here, so I have this. Uh, the idea of this paracord's a lot less than your standard paracord that you can pick up at like Home Depot or order online. Um, I use this for like tarps and stuff that I use for camping. But yeah, so this is, um, I don't know, this is probably maybe three feet here. Um, and it comes with a, it came with a case, which is kind of nice. So you can just slide it in here. I don't know if this is getting captured on the camera. You just slide it in here and you just get it in there like that. So I know it's kind of, uh, close up here, but I'm going to, what the plan is, is I'm going to use this as a, a portable mast. Um, before when I went up, did a soda activation locally here at a mountain, I used a fishing pole and that fishing pole is only like six feet and had a in fed half wave. Um, it works. It's just, I would like to get the mast a little bit higher so I can get this up, you know, probably, you know, 14 feet minus, uh, minus two. So it's like 12 and a half feet extended. So what I'm going to do is I've removed all the, the small section here and there's this section right here which I'm going to attach this to because there's enough room to pull this down in here. So I'm going to attach, I'm going to hot glue these two ends together and then I'm going to hot glue it to this and then see how that works. Cut a longer piece. I have enough room in this to work with. And what I'm going to do is put the heat shrink. I found a larger piece. I'm going to put that on first. And then go ahead and redo this. So I'm going to remove this. And then once again, I'm just going to keep this up to get these to stick together. I found a piece of uh, an old plastic fork that I just... to mash this instead of the um, for the glue mash this with the pliers here I'm trying to get that to go together Those are together now. Okay, take two. Um, so I'm gonna do is pull this out, clean this off, and give myself a little bit more room here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna coat this with the glue. Kind of twist it here. Let it cool for a second, and then we're gonna just go ahead and put that right on there like this to give me a little bit more room. So when I put that heat shrink on here, oh yeah, much better. A lot more room to work with here. It'll just heat shrink and I'm just going to add a little bit more glue in here on the sides. Let it cool for a second. Ow, that's hot. And then I'm just going to glue it to the side here, add a little bit more. I'm going to put some glue in the middle here. I don't want to put too much glue because I want the heat shrink to fit over this. Yeah, much better. And that should hopefully slide down there with the cap. And if not, I can just redo it again. So I'm going to let that cool off. 
I'm just going to show this real quick. So this is what I did. I just used that smaller diameter paracord with the hot glue um, and had a little bit more length. And now I'm just going to add some heat shrink to this. It's pretty on there. I mean, it's secured in there. And then what I'm going to do is just slide this up all the way to the tip. And then we're going to put it down here. And I'm going to heat shrink this. right in there and then we can put the case on the top and close it so get this up camera here so it's just here and then pops out and now I just need a small carabiner and that's <sighs> apparently not all right so back again after that mishap so if you're using a, uh, a hot gun, it's going to melt the glue again. So you want to let it dry before you actually yank on it like I just did. <sighs> Idiot. Anyways, so I'm going to just heat shrink this again. And then I'm going to let it dry. So I know this length will um, close, but I'm actually I'm gonna let that dry, and then I think I'm gonna add another layer of heat shrink that's a little bit less uh, inner diameter. See if I can snug it a little bit tighter. Um, let's see here. So, yeah, that's already melting again, so I'm gonna slide this over. I'm gonna let this dry, that's really hot. And I don't wanna make the same mistake again, so just gonna be a little bit patient. Be right back. Back again, we're gonna do another uh, layer of uh, shrink tube. That's cool. Nice. So I'm going to let that cool off. And then the plan is to set this up so I just have some kind of temporary communications. Um, and I, I'll show that up once I get it set up. Um, I think this is going to hold. I'm going to let this cool off. It's really warm from the, the gun. But yeah, this is... Uh, this is gonna be nice. So this kind of just slides right back down in there. And then you can just slide it right back out. Um, it has this cap. Let's go through this a little bit. I don't let that cool off. But you can, uns this is nice because it unscrews. Um, and it's not a, a rubber cap. The top's a rubber cap, and I'm not worried about that. And this has a case too, which is really nice. Um, yeah, I'll put a, I mean, I don't know if anybody's really interested in this. I mean, there's probably, um, the couple soda peaks have gone up in some of the mountains. There's not trees up there unless we head up to higher elevations. So it's mostly just brush. So that's when I had my, uh, fishing pole, I could only go up. I think that thing's only like maybe seven feet. So I figured I'd try this. Um, I think it was uh, N7 KOM that posted something about doing something like this. So I'm kind of just, uh, copying what he did. 
Um, I just wanted to get a, a different type of uh, length. Um, I'll show you the back. Okay, so I've got it all set up. Um, I'm okay with this. I mean, this is for soda. Um, the one thing that I notice is that it, it's not that high, but if I'm on a summit, it's okay. Um, there's just not a lot of space in terms of, you know, putting this, uh, I guess it depends on the space on the summit. There's a lot of brush up there. It's kind of difficult that I've noticed. Um, but let me just back out here a little bit. I'm having trouble seeing because of the glare. So this is the, the MCHF QRP rig. I just picked this up used for a pretty good deal from what I've seen prices on QRZ and then eBay. Um, this actually is a M0 NKA kit. Um, it's not the, the Chinese knockoffs. Um, I've been using it for the last couple days um, and I'm pretty impressed with this radio. I can't see the screen that great because um, of the glare but it's it's not that bad uh, in terms of what I'm looking straight on it's probably not going to pick up on the on the camera um, so let's see here let's see if I can find a, a POTA station oh so one of the things I like about this is that you can actually um, I, I think I'm gonna do a video on this um, there's videos out there but um, they kind of explain the main functions I want to go through some of the stuff on this it's um it's kind of a I'm used to Yesu, so there's a lot of menus within, a lot of items that you're trying to find are in menus within menus, so it's okay. I've gotten so used to it, so it was easy for me to kind of find this. Uh, this does not have an internal uh, antenna tuner, so I'm just going to stick to uh, 20 meters for this, you know, this, this demonstration just to see if this, how this antenna works. Um, that I plan on using this radio QRP rig for uh, soda. Um, yeah, just at this time, I just couldn't. I just can't spend, you know, thirteen to sixteen hundred dollars on a, a KX2, and you know the three is even even higher. Um, and I know the the Zygu sixty one hundred is just it's it seems like it's a really terrible radio. I'm kind of waiting. Um, well, the availability of the KX2 is a long time. I, I don't think it's their standard eight weeks, but I don't know for sure. I haven't tried to to, to order. I just I know people. I've seen comments where they've waited a long time, but anyways, enough of that. So, um, I'll just go ahead and uh, see if we can find. But this has a, a, t there's, a there's no internal um, and tuner match a, antenna matcher in here, but there is something called tune on here, and you can double, you can do a quick check on uh, your SWR, which is kind of nice. So if you just hit this button. All right, I'm back. So I did find it. Uh, so you can just hit this tune button, test it, and I'm at about 1.8. Okay, so there's a cool thing on here. You actually recorded uh, uh, CQs on here for soda, poda, and then just QRP, poda. So you just hit hold and hit the AF gain, goes in there, and then I can just hit this. Oh, got spotted. G9, okay. Let's see where I got spotted here. Oh, nice. Yep, so I'll do more videos on this uh, this rig. Um, for the amount of money I paid for this, I'm pretty impressed with this radio um just the fact that it has all these functions it's not the i don't think any radio is ideal i think there's quirks and different things like that with each radio that you you have but you know at the time i was like okay i don't want to spend too much money i just want to get something that i can take up um 
the mountain i'm obviously not going to take this battery this is a the battery i've been using with the ft891 and this is you know this is four and a half pounds and i i took this up one of the summits with the ft891 and I, i'm not going to carry that again um but overall i'm, I'm okay i'm okay with uh the setup for this um the one concern i do have is when i get up to these areas i'm not going to have a lot of room uh the the one soda activation i have there wasn't a lot of room so i just basically laid the wire on top of the the bushes and still got the contacts um i just like to be a little bit more so i'm probably going to be looking into a vertical to have as a backup something lightweight um i think this pole is okay um in terms of it uh this kind of rotate the camera here it's kind of bending over which is you know that's natural for a you know segmented you know this is a fishing pole but it's it's working pretty well and it's pretty strong so i actually like what it's doing so um you know <sighs> you gotta do what you gotta do i mean i this is what i, I came up with um but when I did that soda activation, I, I realized that I probably am going to need a vertical just in, in case. I think it'd be a little bit easier to set up, but I'd like to have both in the pack. They're both lightweight. Um, so, yeah, this is it. Um, I'll go into more into this. There's a lot of features like this. I just joined the IO groups for this. There's a lot of people. Unfortunately, uh, the M0 NKA, I, he's not, I, I think it's a parts availability. He's not, he's not not making these anymore the kits um but you know i just happened to to find one at uh, a very 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 low price i mean almost you know fell out of my chair when i saw the price on this so i'm like okay i'm just gonna take a chance um compared to what i saw people selling these for um but yeah let's uh i'll, I'll stop here i'll see if i can find a, a poda station to contact and i'll just come back and uh, uh, maybe get that film filmed on here for you guys. This is a four pointer. This will put me to 500 points if I get this. Got him. Nice.